All right guys, so I'm back for part two now of this video in between my kids flying around, snacks, diaper changes, diffusing fights, and all of those things. How did you and your husband meet? We met when we were 13 and 14, and then we started dating when we were 15 and 16, but not technically dating until I was 16, because that was a rule. We met at church, and I think I've answered this before in another video, but um, he skateboarded. My church had a skate park that we went to, and he skateboarded there, and I went to church there my whole life, so that's how we met. How many siblings do you both have? He has one sister, and I have four brothers, and they're all younger than me, and his sister is younger, so we're both the oldest child. Do you have family close by? I have family close by. Um, he has some family close by, but his immediate family lives in Tennessee. So my all of my family is like real, real close. And where are you originally from? We're both from Michigan. Are you still on meds? Um, yes, I am. I did a video talking about being on Prozac during pregnancy. Um, I went on Prozac for postpartum depression and I decided to stay on it during this pregnancy because I felt like the benefits for me and my children and my sanity and my stability outweighed any kind of risk or anything like that. I felt Felt pretty safe being on it so yes I'm still on it and I feel like it's going really well um, I actually had uh, an appointment a couple weeks ago just to kind of check on things and um, I feel like I'm in a good spot how different is this pregnancy from the previous ones um, I'm gonna do a specific pregnancy vlog but I guess um, in a nutshell I've been way sicker this time I've been way more tired this time <laughs> I lost weight faster and I gained weight faster this time and um, I feel like hormonally it's a little bit harder too. But I have three kids, so I feel like with every kid you have, it kind of ups the ante of the impact your pregnancy <laughs> takes on your body because you already have people that you need to take care of. What have you been up to lately? I'd love to hear a little life update. I did a life update. I will link it up here for you. What is your favorite oil diffuser? Right now I use the Inu from Amazon. It's just a basic Amazon diffuser. You want to sit here with me for a minute? Yeah. Okay, Jude, can you say hi? Uh, Look at how big this little bubba is getting. <laughs> I know him and Ezra, they love each other or they hate each other? I want to. Ezra hits you. Yeah. They're 18 months apart and I feel like it's just like, are you a Christian? If so, how did you decide to be a Christian? Um, I grew up in a home in with a family that were Christians. Um, I am a Christian. But I believe that God called me and I believe that um, he saved me and it was not of my own doing but of his grace and mercy in my life. Are you overbuying for the new baby? Are you overbuying or are you overbuying? I'm not overbuying. Um, like I'm not like overspending. But I am kind of over buying for the new baby. Um, I'm trying to put it off as much as possible. I'm so excited I'm having another girl because I've just got done having two boys. So all the girl stuff is a million times cuter than what it was even when I had Fiona. But no, I'm I'm trying to, I'm, I'm staying with my minimalistic mindset, which is interesting, um, having a baby and preparing for that. But, but we also live on one income and um, we're trying to be frugal and smart and pay stuff off, so. You know, we don't have a lot of money for all the, for all the things. All right, guys, we only have a couple more. <laughs> Let's get through this. Thanks for bearing with me. How do you keep your house clean? I have a fairly large home, and I feel like I'm the only one who cleans. My husband does help me, but I don't feel like, like, he helps me, like, if the kids and I are picking up toys before bed, or if he doesn't have homework and the, maybe the dishes need to be done, um, he takes care of mowing the lawn and things like that, but... John is finishing up seminary right now and he also works full time. And so I, because I'm home, I feel like that is kind of my, um, a lot of my responsibility I feel I take on is in the home. And so I do take care of the home. I would say that a lot of kind of maintaining my home, I mean, you'll see, the kids just dump toys everywhere. He wants me to read him a book. I'm almost done, Bubba. I'm almost, almost done. This is kind of the reason why I haven't really been filming because got kids that need me that are wanting me but I do think it's good that they see that I'm trying to do something and they gotta respect that too so anyways um, minimalism has been epic in keeping our house clean 
getting rid of stuff. I felt like I couldn't take care of my house before and now I realize I just had too much crap. And so get rid of it. If you feel like you can't keep your head above the laundry, get rid of some of your laundry. Because the less laundry that you have, the more likely you're going to be to do it, right? To stay on top of it because you know you don't have 500 different outfits to pick from. Also, I have limited what the kids keep in their bedrooms. Fiona is only allowed to have Barbies in her bedroom with her Barbie house and also some dress up dresses in her closet. And that is it. Any other toys that get brought back up at the end of the day, get put right back downstairs because it just is overwhelming to me to walk by her room and see her wood floor covered in toys. Which is not always her because Jude will go in there and just like dump things. He's two and he just he just dumps all the stuff on the floor but it's hard to keep up with that and so instead of getting angry and getting overwhelmed and frustrated and you know having to nag everybody all the time i just made a rule that this is what's in your bedroom and this is what's not at the end of the day if it doesn't belong in your room we're putting it downstairs and it's a lot easier to put away all the barbies in a bin than it is to separate and sort and organize all these different toys and it's overwhelming and it's just insane so no I could probably do a whole video on that but those are just some little things that I do I do try to do the dishes at nighttime try to pick up the house but I would say minimalism is huge getting rid of junk how does Fiona feel about getting a baby sister she is over the moon you can imagine she's so excited as I'm reading this I'm remembering reading that someone asked me if I was planning a home birth with her and I'm not I'm planning on doing another birth center birth at the same place I had Ezra and at, had Jude. Last question, do you have food or drinks that you stay away from while pregnant? I don't drink alcohol when I'm pregnant, obviously. Um, food that I stay away from? I think the food that I'm supposed to stay away from I don't really eat anyways. Like I don't eat sushi or anything like that. Um, everything else, like I probably have more caffeine than what I should, um, but I do limit myself. Um, but I've got three kids, so. I have lunch meat on my sandwiches, even though I know technically you're not supposed to, but it's coming from my fridge. I know it's not been sitting out. I know how old it is, and I know lots of women, including myself, that have delivered healthy babies that have not gotten sick off of eating a, a cold sandwich. So those are all the questions that I have um, at this point on Instagram. Um, once again, part one is linked up here for you. I don't know how long these are going to be, so hopefully they're not too long. but. Hopefully you guys can forgive me because I have been gone. So um, I had a lot of stuff to cover. So I hope you guys are doing good. Have a fabulous day. And if there's any questions that I didn't cover that you want me to answer, comment down below and I will either respond to you or I'll do those in a separate video. So, all right, see you guys later. Bye.